For regular videos on ancient cultures and forgotten civilizations, please subscribe. The word Edzna has been interpreted to mean House of the Itza. The Itza were a group of Mayans native to southeastern Campeche. For the Maya of this area, Edzna was the earliest major ceremonial center in what has to have been the most favored geographic setting in all of the Yucatan, on the edge of the largest aguada in the entire peninsula. The most outstanding structure in the Acropolis is the building of the five levels, as they call it, on the far side, that's the east side. This building is 110 feet high. Unfortunately, you're not allowed to go up it. I've seen photos of people climbing to the top, but when we were there, it was closed off. But it's got this towering roof comb, it's got all kinds of vaulted rooms, the first four levels are believed to have been living quarters for Mayan priests. On the fifth level, they found the remains of a shrine and an altar. There are 22 total rooms in the temple, plus five rooms in the building at the very top. Now this structure was not built all in one go because they found the remains of an early classic pyramid underneath all of this. At the base of the central stairway are four risers that contain 86 glyph blocks forming a hieroglyphic stairway. Now most of these glyph blocks were found buried in the rubble and they've been reconstructed by archaeologists, but there is a recovered date of 652 CE. But how did the Mayans record their dates? Maya dates are written in glyphs, of course. They're usually presented as a series of five numbers, written vertically. But for ease, scholars will transliterate these dates into our own system by listing a date as a series of five numbers separated by dots. What do the numbers mean? The number on the right represents the day of the month, or kin, as the Maya called it. There were 20 days in a Mayan month, so the numbers go from 0 to 19. The next number to the left of that is what month it is. The word is wino in Mayan. There were 18 months in a Mayan year, so these numbers go from 0 to 17. The next number to the left of that is the year, which they call tun. They counted the years in scores, groupings of 20 years, so the numbers run from 0 to 19. The next number to the left, then, is the score, or katun. In which score did this event take place? These numbers also run from 0 to 19, because scores were also grouped into 20s. Finally, we have the era, or baktun. One baktun equals 20 katuns, which means that a baktun was equal to 400 years. And yes, these numbers also run from 0 to 19. So actually, all the numbers run from 0 to 19, except for the month, which runs from 0 to 17. So, earlier, when I referred to a date of 652 CE being found on the stairway of the Building of Five Levels, it was written, actually, as 9-11-0-0-0. That means that nine eras have passed, 11 scores, and zero years, months, and days. Since we have competently been able to anchor the Mayan calendar to our own calendar, we then can know that this refers to October 9th, 652. There's a date converter on the internet that's super easy to use. If you want to play around with it, I'll leave a link below. The stairway appears to record the accession to power of King Cal Chan Chak just a couple of years before the recorded date. A political patronage statement is made on the stairway, which indicates that Cal Chan Chak was a vassal to a more powerful overlord. And right now we think the most likely identity of that overlord is the king of Kalakmul.